all right guys welcome back to the second session this is safe corpses so we continue from where we left off right all right okay each class has a range okay which is determined by the very first object we have here so this time around we are going to look at how we can convert from decimal to binary and binary to decimal and that will determine why this is an octet and this is an octet and this is an octet and this is an octet okay all right so we human we can relate to decimals we punch in the decimal and then the machines do the binary but for us to understand how the ip address work you need to convert to decimal and what back to binary then you understand how the machine sees the ip okay so i said this is an octet, this is an octet, this is an octet, this is an octet. So let's see how the machines do that. So since in, in binary we have something called base 2. So let me do that. Okay. So here, let me see. Good. So we have 0. one because computer start cuts you from zero okay but we humans if we should say you should just start counting we forget about zero and start counting from one right i'm going to show you where our cutoff point will be okay we are not going to use all this our cutoff point will be at a particular number right so uh let's see if uh, good go down to the second lane right so now let me start from this point okay so now where the cursor is bring it now two raised to the power zero is one okay when it comes to here two raised to the power one is two okay say this is going too much so let me draw it closer 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 right it's not going in alignment the way i want it so i think i need to separate them this way so now our cutoff point will be here now this is why in each uh, figure or each digit we put here will be represented by this figure here and this is the one that will determine how many bits we have in here so if you watch one two three four five six seven eight so this is what will make this an octet an octet an octet an object these numbers we call them the placeholders okay since if you know these numbers okay so if you know these numbers okay converting to decimal and binary will not be an issue okay so let's look at how we can do a conversion right one of any of the ip i'm going to just select right i'm going to select any ip or i'm going to input any number right so that uh, we we'll use this placeholders for that purpose okay so i'm going to copy this actually cut so i have to position it here because i'll be using it good so now i have this in place close it a bit just 
too wide or it's too far from each other. Good. So I'm going to give them a different color here. Okay, well, let me give you a little bright color. Okay, this is better. So now I can clean all this uh, information, right? So now I can put a real IP here. So let's say I have 10.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.100.
my 1p today then subtract 64 okay which will give me um, so with my calculator 100 subtract 64 just to be sure so I have what 36 I'm going to have 36 here so now I'm going to deal with 36 now 32 into 36 yes it's possible so I have here one so here subtract 32 so this will give me four right so 16 into four okay because now I have to deal with the four number 16 into four this is not possible so zero 8 into 4 is not possible so 0 4 into 4 yes so subtract 4 that will be equal to 0 so here I only have 1 so 2 into 0 1 into 0 so if we should be counting here we should have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can see why after each dot is an odd object. So I bring my dots just to differentiate between the bits. So now I have to work with my 200 number, just like I did with the 100. So same way, I have to use these placeholders throughout so 128 into 200 yes it's, it's possible so you bring one so subtract 128 from 200 so if i should do that 200 minus 128 so i have 72 so goes to 72 oh sorry so now we're dealing with 72 here so 64 into 72 yes it's possible so i'll put here one so subtract 64 right which is equal to um, let's check sorry 72 subtract 64 we have here eight so now i have eight so now I'll be working with what eight. So thirty-two into eight is not possible. So I have a zero. Sixteen to eight will give me zero because eight is smaller. Eight into eight, yes, one. So here I'm going to subtract eight from eight, which will give me what zero. So now four into zero, I have a zero. Two into zero, zero, and then one into zero, zero. So you can see now I'm building my uh, what do you call uh, my binary is getting longer. So now I'll bring my dot. So now, like just like I did for the other numbers, I have to do the same for what, for 45, right? So 128 into 45 is not possible. So this I have zero. 64 is bigger than. 45 so i'm going to have zero so now 32 and 45 yes 32 is possible okay so i have one so subtract 32 from 45 so this will give me one three okay so if you should cross check very well 45 subtract 32 so 13 exactly so now we're dealing with 13 now that's my digit so 16 into 13 is not possible so i have zero eight into 13 yes it's possible so i have one so subtract eight from this so this will give us what five this should give us five so so plant 8 from here good so we have here 5 so 5 so now we're dealing with 5 4 into 5 yes it's possible 1 so this will give me 
one here. So two into one is not possible. So zero, one into one, yes, it's possible. So then I'm going to have what one. So if I should let me bring this here, good. So one minus one, I'll have zero. So I've just converted this whole uh, decimal to what binary. So this is how the machine is going to see, and this is an octet, as we said. So if you should count these zeros and ones, you only have what eight bits length, eight bit length, eight bit length, eight bit length. That is why when you add 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 you have 32 so in this world that we live in if everyone should start using ipv4 for their devices their computers cars now we have smart microwaves smart fridges smart ACs. okay all those things will be needed IP so if you should try that so let's do this um, let me just bring my scientific a little so 2 raised to the power 32 here so this is the amount of uh, IP address we we'll have if you are using what IPv4 which is smaller than the world population so we cannot use it that's why there is IPv6 later in other videos i'm going to bring that as well as a, in another session okay so look at that so this is how you can convert uh, decimal into what binary you see this place holders here and then let's look within our binary we have where we have one 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 so in binary one is on zero means off so where there is on you put what the placeholders there so you just count one two three four five so let's check so five is on so we count one two three four five so the fifth one is eight so here eight will on so this is what i'm going to do uh, let me just put here eight good so now eight is on so i put eight on the one so let's count again this is five six seven right so five six seven two is on right so i'm going to put here two so wherever you see one means it's on so you put what the placeholders there i think now i can close this Good. so that I can expand my binary platform so now I have this two on so what you do here is if you add two sorry eight to two what will you have you see it equals to what ten which is at the top here the same okay so the next thing we'll go to the next one we'll start counting zero is not on but we have one two on so if you count here 128 is off so we will not put that there but we have 64 32 on so i'm going to put here 64 right on top like this and then 32 also on so let's see from 32 so I have one two three okay four five six so the six number so I can count from here one two three four five six which is four so four is on so I'm going to do that so four is on so if I should add this this should give me what hundred right so let's look at that if do 64 plus 32 plus what 4 
see 100 exactly so that should tell me that my calculation all right so let's get down to it. the next octet so here we have one two eight so i'm going to pull that one that one's on 64 is on so i'm going to put this one to there so let me count one two three four five so one two three four five eight is on here so eight good so if i should add this it should give me 200 so let's check uh, so i have one two eight plus 64 plus eight you can see here i have what 200 exactly so that should tell me that this side to get right 200 and then now there are 45 let's see if we get a 45 so we have one two okay which is off which is 128 and 64 so we have 32 which is on so this will be this let me expand this so we we'll have one sorry one two three okay four five six so five and six is on so let's count one two three four five five is eight and four two is on so eight is on and then four is on then we have one which is on right so let me just put that there good so if we should add all these we should be able to get uh, 45 let's cross check that 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 so you can see here 45 so that means our calculation we got everything right so you can see a 10 100 245 so this is how you can convert from binary to decimal and decimal to binary so if you convert to binary and you try converting back to decimal and you don't have the exact figures that you have here that means your binary is wrong okay so if you really want to cross check about these figures so we can actually go to our calculator okay this decimal let me go into what programming okay so if i should put here 100 so you can see i put here 100 so i have 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 so you can see 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so this is actually showing what the binary so if i should put here 200 so you can see exactly what we had right yeah somebody will tell me why didn't i use the calculator for this to convert from decimal to binary binary to decimal now when it comes to networking uh, professional exams there will not be any calculator so you need to know these placeholders and use them wisely so that you can get your calculation right because when it gets to subnetting we'll not be using calculator we'll just be using this uh, placeholder that's what you are going to use for subnetting as well so you can see we are getting the same figure so let's put here uh, 45 so the same you can see 0010 one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. so you can see this is what you are having in what binary if you should put the 10 for 10 because of the leading zero so we will not have a full zero zero there because there's so many zeros here so it's two we have our one two three four four zero so it's not going to show that you got to be one zero is going to show that so this is how the calculator sees it so if you are using a calculator to convert 10 into binary and 
probably the answer they are looking for. These four zeros before the, your main beat, uh, you have it wrong, right? So this is how you can cover it from binary to decimal, decimal to binary. Now, see you guys on the next chapter, okay? Stay tuned. Um, I want you to subscribe, share, okay? Like this page for me. See you guys.